PE with Coach Smith and I have a game called Rainbow Build. And it is actually a lot like architects and builders. And I've tweaked it a little bit and changed the name to make it work for my class. The way that we play this is the goal is to get all six of the popsicle sticks. And the way that you do that is, number one, our students are in groups of two or three. Now sometimes larger class sizes, you may have to do four. But we start out, let's say, in a group of three. So we have a home base where they just have a cone against the wall and those are all spread out around the gym. And that is our home base. And that's where we're gonna keep our sticks once we get them. So let's say I am going to be the architect first. So my group, my whole group comes with me and we go out and we find a station. I call this a station or a project. And this is the orange project. So the architect picks up the folder, they look at it. It has the picture here and only they can see it. I shouldn't show this to my teammates because it's my job to use verbal communication to tell them what to build. So I might say, hey, take the noodle and put it towards the middle of the hula hoop and put the dice in front of it, those types of things. So you're building the entire project. When my group has built the project and I think it looks like this, then I'm gonna stand by my, my project and the architect waves the folder in the air and a coach comes through or a project manager and we come through and we check it. We take their folder so you don't have to um, create extra pictures. You just take the folder from the student, you look at it. If they haven't done it correctly, we give them a, a tip. We might say, hey, you need to check the dice. The wrong number is showing or something like that. And then we will walk away and let them fix it. And then they'd have to raise their hand again to get checking it done. But if we see that they've done it correctly, then I would give them an orange stick. So they've earned orange. Now, the architect would then take the stick, put it at their cone, while the other members are cleaning up. And when we clean up, we tell them all the equipment goes back in the basket, folder goes in the hoop, and then as a group, they're gonna jog one lap, and then they will go find another color. Now, They've already done orange, so they don't have to go back to orange. They could go to yellow, green, purple, blue, or red. Now, we have lots of different options as far as um, colors go. So there's not just one red station. So you need to make sure that you have multiple stations of each color. If you don't have that enough equipment, so all of the equipment for that color is the same color. I just look for all the orange things that I could find in our equipment room. And I'll show you some pictures of that at the end of the video. But if you don't have a lot of, um, of the same color items, then just use random equipment and make sure that your folder and your hula hoop are the correct color. Now, some modifications that we, that we did. For fifth grade, once we had one group that was finished with the whole project, they had six sticks, then we had them turn them into us and they became project managers and they loved that. So we would give them a stack of sticks and they would then walk around and be project managers like the coaches. One tip on that, I did not tell them until the first group finished because I didn't want everybody to rush through it, but I did notice that they really started picking up the pace on wanting to get all six sticks so that they could become those leaders and those project managers. So that was one modification. For the little kids, we did even play this with kinder and first, but we had Everybody could look at the picture, so we had them open it up, and they just built it. And then they would raise their hand, we would come by and check it. If it looked good, we just gave them a random color stick. It didn't even matter what color it was. So we, we didn't throw in the color aspect of it, and they enjoyed that. With our second grade and our third grade, we did let them point. We didn't say anything in the directions. We just told them that you have to communicate and tell them verbally how to create the build but we said you cannot touch any equipment. So hope you've enjoyed it. Hope you can um, find some ways that you can tweak it and make it work for your gym. Um, but this was Rainbow Build and make it a great day.